Find the limit as x approaches 0 of the tangent of 3x over the sine of 2x. Solution. So when you're taking a limit, the first thing you should do is take the number here and plug it in for all of the x's. So when we do that, we get the tangent of 3 times 0, so tangent of 0, over sine of 2 times 0, so that's the sine of 0. Now the tangent of 0 is 0, and the sine of 0 is also 0. So we get 0 over 0. This is what's called an indeterminate form. So whenever we have an indeterminate form that looks like 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, we can use something called L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule says we just take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. So let's go ahead and do it. So this is the limit as x approaches 0. All right, let's take the derivative of the top piece. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So here it's tangent 3x. So it's secant squared of 3x times the derivative of the inside function. So the inside function here is 3x, so its derivative is 3. All divided by the derivative of the bottom. So the derivative of sine is cosine. So here it's sine 2x. So it's cosine 2x times the derivative of the inside, so 2. All right, let's rewrite this. We can write this as, let's pull out the 3 over 2. A limit, x approaches 0. And now secant squared of 3x, we can write that as 1 over cosine squared of 3x, right? Because secant is 1 over cosine, all divided by cosine 2x. All right, now we can just go ahead and plug in 0, right? When we plug in 0, we're going to get the cosine of 0 in both cases. Uh, cosine of 0 is 1, so this is going to be equal to 3 halves times 1 over, well, cosine of 0 is 1, so when you square it, you just get 1 squared, so it's also 1 over 1. So that's just 3 halves times 1 over 1, so that's just 3 halves. And that's the final answer. Again, when you plug in the 0 here, I, mean, I skipped a step, we get this, 1 over cosine squared of 0 over cosine of 0. And then cosine of 0 was 1, so you just get 1 over 1 squared uh, over 1, which is just 1 over 1, which is just 1. So all of this becomes 1, so the only thing that's left is the 3 halves. I hope this video um, has been helpful. That's it.